What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode. Today's content is an increased focus on Android and Nova Launcher Prime, which brings us to how to change app icon appearance for all apps. Now, a highlight of Android is, of course, customization and changing app icon appearance creates a truly unique experience while developing the ultimate loadout. And this mission is easy to accomplish once you know where to look in Nova Launcher Prime and doesn't require additional steps like app icon packs. As a side note, I am performing this process on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, but change an app icon appearance should look good on many Android devices. So let's go ahead and import a screen recording right now and run through the tutorial. So first things first, as I always mention, if you install Nova Launcher Prime, you probably will have two app icons. Now to get to this page, you wanna select the Nova Settings app icon. If you select the other app icon, it's just going to bring you into app info. That being said, Said, here we are in Nova settings. Now I will say if you're looking at this list of options for the very first time, it's certainly overwhelming. After all, we have a lot going on here and the initial learning curve is certainly very challenging but gets exponentially easier with time and more fun developing your confidence. So moving on, let's talk about how to modify the app icon appearance. So the first option we want to look for is look and fill and then we'll tap on it. Now this refreshes the page to a look and feel page. Again, we have a very long list of options or so it seems, but again, try a little bit at a time. The point isn't to just jump into a whole bunch of stuff and start changing everything because you'll probably get lost. So again, moving on, we're going to look for the option icon style and tap on it. And this brings us to exactly where we need to be. Now keep an eye on this top portion here. That's our preview window. And it gives you an idea of what your system UI will look like in regards to the app icon appearance as you make changes. Now, even though I've already made changes, I'm going to run through this because there is one thing that you need to do that's not so obvious. So we're going to start by looking at the category adaptive icon. And underneath this, we're going to have icon shape and we're going to select one of the options. Now I'm going to go with follow system. And again, pay attention to that preview window. If we look at the top, we have those four sample app icons and settings, calculator and adaptive have taken on the new shape. But if we look at the legacy option, it's still hexagon shape. Now, this is where I don't want you to get stuck because I believe I've gotten stuck here before. I thought maybe there was a bug with the app or this feature doesn't work all that well, but there is actually an option that I would say we have to reset. So if we look underneath the category icon shape, you can see we have the option reshape legacy icons, which is interesting because I've already got it selected. So you would think that the legacy icon would follow the other sample icons and take on that follow system shape, but obviously that hasn't happened. So what I've noticed you have to do is uncheck the reshape legacy icon option. And you can see that legacy icon changes and then check the box again. And now that's going to change the legacy app icon to the follow system option. And it'll look like the other three app icons in the preview window. So that's it for the how to, but I want to run through some other icon shapes. So next we're going to select the round icon. And again, we need to reshape that legacy icon. So we're going to go back to the reshape legacy icon option, uncheck it and check it again. So now you can see what that round option will look like. We also have some more options if you don't want these basic ones that are initially shown. So we're going to select the more option and that gives us more shapes. Now, personally, I love the hexagon. The pentagon is pretty nice too, uh, but the hexagon is where it's at for me. Again, we have the two hexagon options. We've got the one there and the one here. I love this one here. So we select it and don't forget, again, we need to reshape that legacy icon because it's still round. So again, uncheck the reshape legacy icon option and check it again. So let's take this for a test drive. As you can see, we're in my app drawer and all my app icons are hexagon shaped, which means that they are all consistent. I love the hexagon shape. It just looks really clean and futuristic. So I have a folder at the top here titled games and that's hexagon shaped and you could see like a preview of the apps in that folder. They're also hexagon shaped 
And if I open that folder, there are all my games. The app icons are all hexagon shaped really clean. So that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. We've also got some really cool lists that will help you create the ultimate loadout such as the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra list. So check it out. The next way you can show your support is by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah. <laughs>